Remnants of five. Lootmeister Hands has need of a delivery made to a destination unknown. Well, I am stupid. Hands is back room. Huh. My thing is not working. Give me a second. Now, I have to wonder what the hell caused that. Anyways, it's fixed now. Oh my god. And the answer to the call. Congratulations are in order. For me, of course, I've done quite well in mine and recruitment of you. You'll make a fine deliverer of finer things. Council of five. True shot colors of the dark world, if only for a fleeting period. Emissary of Aether. Ah. For others. Symptoms of steam and heat. She's somewhere between the mountain between the boiling mine and the icy ridge. And the mountain between the boiling mine. Okay. Ah, uh, I cannot forget the package. Alright. Building a row of moons that they were reaching within themselves. Hands removes a small canvas bundle. When he places the bundle in your hand, the weight, its weight forms the indentations of an ovular shape against your palm. And it is wet. The detail is quickly forgotten as your face of the set of hands is sleeve shroud and hand raising into the air to give you a shaky thumbs up. I'll try, yes. Only the stages now I ask. Deliver to dear Ula in the place of steam and heat. And to make clear, do not open that. Do not open that there. Uh. Damn it, I can't open it. <laughs> First thing I fucking do is wonder if I can. Uh. From either to fire. Literally in the same weakness order, huh? That's definitely interesting. Should be somewhere here. Or it really doesn't take much to destroy all these. I should have gotten a potion, but who cares? I have to kill a bronze guardian again. I'm just gonna dodge backwards. Yeah, no, I don't want I don't wanna get hit by that shit. And I still got Bruh.
I'm going to chess. Sucker. From the wreckage of the bronze construct, an envelope falls to the ground. Strangely, it seems as though the heat has no effect on it. The letter within reads, Dear Bronzino, My dear, ever since you attained sentience from that stone, you've become quite the wicked prat. Still, I am your creator and I can't forget the fun we had when you were much dumber. So I offer you this warning. With the Pushers freed, the workhorse is sure to challenge your power over the boiling mine. You're above that, whiny fool, and you're better than a molten slag heap below the mount. Leave it all behind and join me. Let's relive simpler times. Here, simpler times. I've stashed the map at the door of your namesake. You may need a bit of that newfound wit to find it, but with it you'll find me. With your great anticipation of your simpleness, Hula the Ember Eye. Huh. That's... interesting. Wait, no! Don't need... a thing. Press close to his artificial ticker, the Bronze Guardian kept a note from who you seek, Hula. Her new location may be discovered somewhere near the Bronze Gate. Okay. But let me open this chest first. Fire staff, fire, fire, fire rune. Ooh. And wait, I got two more stuff? Oh. Fire staff, which... And... Attack steel, plus nine damage over time. Anyway, uh... Let me just... Bronze gate. Somewhere here. Wait a minute. Behind the loosened stone, a tethered map unfurls. It marks a hidden location. A cliffside cave we found betwixt, I think it's pronounced, the boiling mine below and icy ridge above it. At the bottom of the page is written Eula. So, trail clues lead to a cave. Find complete your delivery. I'm still on the clock. Huh. Five dots. Upon entering the cave, we see nothing but five flickering dots. Very really small, as if they were far, far away. They're drawn into the cave's mouth by the warm air that exhales from within. It is a welcome comfort, an unexpected sanctuary. Looking closely, you spy flickering, flame-borne light dancing off the walls, eerie beacons toward a distant inner chamber. What will you do? Go forward. I got a delivery to make, man. You continue onward. The whipping chill from the cave's mouth grips at the nape of your neck. It's desperately pulling at you. The flickering flames that guided you forward like tiny stars on the land skyscape begin to dim. The geography of the tunnel soon lost to the black. No one would judge you for returning and leaving uh, the waiting evil for one more foolish than yourself. Because you are no fool as we're about to witness. I couldn't care less. I got a delivery to make. Package. Onward. Fine. Yes, you venture forward still, brazen, irresponsible, many would say. A great many. I'm just going forward. It's not like I can just... It's not like I can't just walk backwards. I ain't gonna get lost. Hopefully. The dimly flickering orbs that lured you inward finally in s extinguish. You're engulfed in a sensory void. All you have to guide you now is sound. You lean in, hearing what would sound like the rising wash of steam the most. But you're smart the most, as we've seen from your previous actions in this very cave. 
It needs to be, in fact, a hiss. Something is ahead of you. Beastly. You've heard the stories of cave-dwelling beasts. Artisans at the blood-tempered craft of bone feasting. Naturally, all instincts since you're running back from hence you came. Aye? Go forward unadvised. You know... I am so tempted to keep going. I have to. I, I can't just turn back now. Like, the game is telling me in clear words. Stop going forward. Turn back. But like, I, I can't... I, who, you guys would too, right? I'm an explorer. I'm an adventurer. I have to... As a scientist... I must wander... Into the unknown and figure out what is in it. So, <laughs> it's just three dots. Well, then you're undaunted by the fear of the unknown, it seems. Brave, but how brave are you in the fear of an undeniable known? You're only steps away from the central chamber now, not realizing these very well could be the last steps you ever take. Where once many flaming orbs stands, the darkness is unmade as two orbs of fire rage back alight. I said, two orbs of fire rage back a light. Yes, eyes. They are eyes of flame. The beast is a stone throw head. Very and clearly real, as you've just seen. Laying its face of bones, the fire beast speaks with the voice of Moten Kultrato. <clears throat> Then my blackened cold soul, there is but one glimmer of mercy. Turn back now. <laughs> you know, I feel like I could, I could, I could kick your ass, right? I'm pretty sure I could. I mean, I, I really, I grew a lot since last time. I, you know, I farmed a lot, you know, so, like, I don't know what to say, but I think I've beaten things stronger than you. And I am pretty sure this is going to be a mistake. But, <laughs> stop! <laughs> Alright, stop, fine. Oh, what do you want? Who are you? Delivery! <laughs> well, I'm gonna ask who you are first. I'm the Ember Eye they call Ula, the once legendary emissary of fire. Though, if any are to ask who you found hiding in that near impossible to reach cave, I want you to tell them this. Not a soul. The only being that fills that hollow divot against the rock face be a fire beast. The fangs, yes, the fangs. What harrowing legends will grow from the tips of those fangs? Oh, I'll well, enjoy the peace of this steaming sanctum, sanctum all to myself and my dearie cinder wisps. I got a delivery for you. What's this then? From hands, you say? Heh, give it here. My old talisman fire! I found it after all these many, many moons. Note to Eula. May this always keep you warm in the cold. Sorry you got wet. I know that's not good for fire, but you always burn the brightest. Yes, please offer compensation to the deliverer, for I will not. You motherfucker! Oh, Hans, ever frugal fiend. I hope he never changes. Let's just see. Payment. I know. Take some of these. Key crystals. Hidden, hidden, hidden. Key crystals. 20. I spent my retirement slash exile collecting loot and crystals. My passion is to collect. The rarer the item, the better. I mean, I probably have some rare items for you. And now that you know the location of my sanctum, perhaps we can do some trades. I do love my loot, but I love crystals even more. Have a look at my collection. 
I have some duplicates I'd be willing to part with. Blade of Falling God, epic enchantment, Na name tag. I can only afford like these two things. I don't know about the Blade of Falling God, but I guess I'm gonna get an epic enchantment. Use for equipping for giving your gear a custom name. Name gear cannot be broken apart from materials, but still can still be enchanted or disenchanted. Hmm, that's kind of useless. Oh, before you go, there's something else I love. Information. Bring me news of the Dark Road each day and I'll pay you in crystals. Deal? Is there any news that's worth... Well, that's done. Weekly quest. Hot Springs shop. Oh, wow. It's interesting. Epic enchantment. I feel like I, I should have given it to this bow here, but too late now. But I wonder, do I have enough bows to probably? No, I don't. Probably one more, one more, and it's not all right. Ah, uh, well, guess that's the end of that quest. But since this got unlocked. The next one's in eight hours, but since this got unlocked, Beat Haunted Hall, so difficulty five. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna change this to this. And, um, yeah, I don't have any better ones or anything else, so this is like. Alright, I'm going to change this into... For when, go for when ghosts like this pop up. Because they can only be damaged by magic for some annoying reason. It's just empty? Okay. That's just interesting. <laughs> oh, a lot of ghosts. Palace the Skinless. Um... Hmm, I mean, I know damn well that I'm not gonna really... ...do well... ...regarding that, so... ...maybe a shield? I'm gonna try that. And hopefully it works, but I don't think it will. Okay, no, this sword's better, isn't it? Skinless. Eh. No matter what damage it, this bonehead can do to me, I can just regenerate it with my sword, sucker. This is this is the peak farming experience. Once you farm so much, literally nothing can hurt you anymore. How is the lifeless, sucker? Chop off your head next. Come on! What the fuck was that? Ah, oh, still tenants, Jesus.
really doesn't take much, huh? And they're dead. Just gonna pick up that stone and then bring pick up that chest. Alright. That's fine. Let's open this. Let's see what's inside. A lot of either runes and either ones. Neat. Nineteen key crystals. Oh, a lot of key. Holy crap! I think I can buy the thing now. Deals 80 damage to all foes and gains a smite buff for each enemy you defeat this way. Smite. Each time you apply the buff, deal damage equal to 4 times the number of spike buffs. 80 second cooldown. 100% chance of a splash. Ah! Uh, I shouldn't have bought the thing! I want that. I want that sword. It looks cool. Also, I want this delta. A shield. Yeah, I feel like that shield's a really good. That regen part. Shield can go up to like seven. That ain't. Yeah, no. Well, guess that's that for now. Next quest isn't that much, I still gotta defeat this new force to get this chest, but otherwise, I'm practically done. Don't know if replaying the quests give me more things, but it doesn't matter. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you all next time. Bye!